Howdy, 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 my gorgeous Aquarius. How you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today, Aquarius, I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for March 2022. All right, darling, Aquarius. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, Aquarius, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates with you. All right, darling? And then Aquarius, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, honey. To get the full spectrum, what's going down in your life in specific? And let's just jump right into this, Aquarius. What are y'all currently dealing with? What's the tea? What's the gossip, honey? What's the what's going on with you, Aquarius? I feel like it's been a hot biscuit since we've uh, connected energies, even though I know it's only been a week, honey. All right, let's see what's going on here, Aquarius. <clears throat> we have here the Six of Cups coming in here. Ooh, some of y'all been thinking about the past, perhaps, right? The Six of Cups always talks about the past. Maybe you're feeling a little bit nostalgic here, but we're getting ahead of ourselves now, honey. All right, got to pull a couple more cards here. Judgment energy. Some of you guys might be thinking about the past and how you handled things in the past here as well i get a message for others of you uh, aquarius is that something in the past you're going to be hearing about some karma coming into full completion with someone as well from the past whether that's good karma or bad darling <laughs> that's for y'all to be deciding darling but all right and then we have the justice and yeah definitely some karma honey you got both the j's honey the justice as well as the judgment energy and i know a lot of people will ask me being like valka what like how do you define the difference between justice energy as well as judgment energy i see judgment energy as where it's like i see it as the karma where it's like spiritual forces like laying down the law and getting themselves involved in the situation here and the justice energy quite literally does deal with the law in the literal sense but it also thing bringing things back into balance and so for many of you guys aquarius y'all have been thinking about some past energy wondering how it's been doing and i feel like some of you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised surprised by like how that karma looks like for them here now again darling we're going to just be leaving it to how y'all see that karma be fitting honey because some of you guys you might be looking at a past energy feeling nostalgic and be like mm, i'm glad that they're doing really well honey and then let's be real a lot of you uh aquariuses might be looking at a past energy and be like we're seeing like where their lives is devolving into and you're just like having yourself a little bit of a chuckle honey all right we have the sun card coming in the back of the deck so whatever the case is i feel like you'll be extremely happy about it here uh aquarius about again whatever the case is all right so let's expound on the six of cups energy here <clears throat> mm, yeah we're taking these we have the seven of cups stepping forward here all right and then the page of swords coming in here and then the chariot energy coming in so i wouldn't be surprised for others of you not others of you aquarius i feel like how you end up hearing about how karma has been going down for this person that was in the past for you that is in the past for you aquarius you end up hearing about it because they end up reaching out to you in some way or leaving some type of sign aquarius and being like and it's going to be subtle, I feel, Aquarius. I don't know if it's going to be necessarily direct here, but you're going to be getting some type of intel where you get some affirmation. Be like, okay, they're still at the very least thinking about me or somehow you're still relevant here. Somehow you are aware that they are, you're still relevant in their life here. Now, with that Seven of Cups energy, I'm curious why. Three of Pentacles here. Yeah, definitely speaks about this is this is speaking straight up about Aquarius, where it's like something that is in the past, whatever the case is, darling, whatever the T is for that, karma probably happens for them where they then end up reflecting and either they start feeling nostalgic about you, Aquarius, because maybe you already like uh try to help out this energy beforehand and then you ended up being the bad guy in the situation. So then you had to kind of be like, All right, hands off with the situation here. You're just at this point of where you are just like you're just like, all right, honey, like, I don't want to, like, you know, you just do your own thing. And then, like, as you already predicted how things were going to be going down in that situation and it ended up happening. And then that's when they're just like, mm, you know, that person ends up thinking about it's like, oh, dang, Aquarius did warn me about this, honey. All right. <clears throat> so Aquarius did end up warning me about this. And so after the fact, you know, that's when they end up relieving you. That's when they see you no longer as the villain be like, oh, Aquarius was just looking out for me this entire time. But. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, Aquarius, well, let me not speak for you guys, all right? That's not my place to be speaking on where you're at emotionally with it because it's going to be very different for each of you guys. For, you know, whatever the case is for you, Aquarius, 
it's up to you because I'm not here to tell you what to do. It's up to you on you deciding like what you do with the situation here um, when it comes to this collaboration, right? Because I do see them coming back in, you know, some of them and, you know, for some people, they might just needed to have like, you know, you tell like a toddler, you'd be like, don't do that. And the toddler just like, no. And then they do it anyways. And they end up hurting themselves and they're sobbing. And then you have to, you know, pick them up and just like kiss them and just, you know, whatever. But at the situation that here is, honey, we're all adults here. And I can confidently say that because my analytics say that everyone's at least 25 and above for the most part right <laughs> and then we have the eight of pentacles here at the very least what i can be telling you aquarius it does seem to be that this person really is like learn from the situation here they act the at the very least even though it just brings you peace of mind and you still continue moving on from the situation i hope this brings you some comfort in knowing that um they're they are very aware about what it is that you try to warn them about they are very aware about <laughs> you know it's like they had to live a life a little bit and realize like where you were coming from this entire time and then they're just like oh, okay and they evolve from it all right so you when they do come at you just know that they are coming from an evolved place that they did learn their lesson or at the very least they're receptive of the lesson you know you know we can be very self-aware about a lesson and it's kind of up to us personally on if we are going to take that lesson in right and then we have back of the deck wheel of fortune yeah it definitely feels like whatever karma happened to them it definitely changed them it changed them and helped them mature and ultimately that's what we want in all of our connections right even if it didn't end too lovely right well let me know again some of you Aquarius might be typing in the comments right now and be like oh well, Valka like screw them honey like da, 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 da. girl okay all right but at the end of the day you never really want too many people suffering right <laughs> I feel like I can be blunt with you guys Aquarius and you you get it right you never want people to be suffering too much and knight of cups energy they're definitely going to be coming back in so definitely what i would be telling you to be preparing for right now also forgive me aquarius glasses broke um if you notice can you keep on readjusting here just be prepared that they are going to be coming back after the karma comes into play for them all right and it's shortly after the fact it's very much so they start feeling nostalgic and be like oh let me just write in uh, aquarius here maybe aquarius is gonna like take me back and like forgive me and like help me work through the situation that aquarius was telling me from the very get-go to watch out about or that aquarius was warning me about right so let's see any other final thoughts that we need to get into before we just start tapping into your energy and see where it is your path is going what it is that you're currently manifesting here aquarius any other final thoughts with this girl i'm not taking this many cards hold up <laughs> one more bridge shuffle here all right so nine of swords energy here very much so very much so in their head very much so a lot of sleepless nights here here's the thing aquarius at the very least take comfort in the fact that you are living in their mind completely rent free you know you might be just getting yourself some satisfaction where your arms are crossed honey and you're just like i told you so honey all right and they are very receptive of the situation that you already told them about i don't know what happened here aquarius but whatever the case is here they're very much so in their head um with you involved they're very much like they i don't again like i don't know how you are just so relevant in this person's mindset here or like their thought process because i don't feel like y'all are talking i don't feel like y'all are talking i don't know if y'all have been talking for a hot biscuit now can i be honest here because i feel like y'all have already parted ways and been living your own life here and it's like at a later point they realize that you essentially are the one that got away because they realize that you actually were always looking out for them from the very get-go they realize that you always were providing that st stability and that maturity that they probably were not getting from any other connection honestly let's be real here Aquarius right you were probably their first experience of a connection where it's just genuine they might have been just used to dealing with like people who are always like you know out to get them or just whatever you know whatever the excuses are right and so they didn't know how to react or hand, handle a, a genuine, authentic relationship. And so they probably ended up sabotaging it is what I get. I mean, that's just intuitively, honey. So take that as a grain of salt. But end of the day, darling, they definitely are reflecting and thinking, I don't want to say fondly, but they're just like, dang, Aquarius did say something about this, right? So let, enough of that energy, darling, right? And we don't need to focus. This is about you. So let's see what it is that you're currently manifesting. Two of Pentacles coming in here. You might be in this place of feeling a little bit overwhelmed currently. A lot of moving parts trying to decide what it is that you want to be putting energy into here. And the devil energy coming in as well. Why is that devil there? 
Girl, I don't know what is it, it is with your energy here, Aquarius, but whatever the case is, keep, extra cards keep on trying to come out here. We have the Six of Wands as well as the Hanged Man coming in here. <clears throat> it feels like for you, Aquarius, it's like picking up on an old project here. You're trying to figure out how, like, managing a bunch of different things, and it's like y'all are going to be picking up an old project here. You are dealing with a lot of, a lot of issues, a lot of, like, I feel like with this devil, I feel like it's more than just one specific thing and i don't feel like it's just people i feel like this devil just comes in the shape of where life just happened here where you are always on the path towards success here aquarius and just accomplishing whatever it is that you personally were trying to manifest here but in that pathway um the i feel like this devil just came just like very blatantly in the middle of your path here that you had to adjust like you had to address you couldn't go around it you're just like all right i gotta manage this and then you're going back on your path right and so i feel like this is more so of a message aquarius where it's just like hey just continue going down this path yes you have these devils being placed right in front of you darling but six of wands is my favorite card in the major arcana because by definition this represents fame and fortune and just victory and just again like again success in like whatever avenue haynes man coming in here in the back of the deck here aquaria or not in the back of the deck but that was the extra card here eight of wands coming in <clears throat> it almost as if some type of change whether this was like a physical environment aquarius or maybe you had to move jobs or something had to be rearranged in your physical life here to before something could be successful does that make sense? So it's like before you could have a project come into full fruition here, you had to make some edits. And I feel like that's the purpose of that devil being in your path here. And maybe that's just me being optimistic, Aquarius. I mean, full disclosure, honey, like that's where my bias comes in in readings is I'm a very optimistic. I'm always like the person that is like, I'm not the person that thinks a half, a, you know, like the glass half empty or half full, honey. I'm the type of person that's like, oh, honey, we have a glass, honey. There's, <laughs> we have glass involved in this, like not regardless of whether it's filled or not honey i'm always gonna be like oh yes come on glass you have a glass instead of a paper cup honey in that way so that might be where my bias is you know i like to find purpose in pain you know i like to i like to think that there's always a you know pain is always there's always a purpose in the pain so you know that's all it is for that we have the page of pentacles coming in here still communication i feel for you guys and also new streams of revenue opening up or at the very least some type of uh uh, things ramping up a little bit more with new and financial endeavors is what I see happening. Yeah, Page of Wands as well. A lot of new energies coming in. Page of Wands, by definition, Aquarius is new opportunities stepping forward and what have you here. And so overall, back of the deck energy, Nine of Cups. Yeah, y'all are making some very positive ground towards whatever your objective is that you're trying to manifest, right? You know, I'm not going to put a label on it because all Aquariuses are different in their priorities and goals here but you're making very positive forward ground towards that there um i do feel as if like you needed to have like a change of environment you may have moved recently or changed jobs or something like that here some stuff needed to move around in your life so i don't feel like too much was has been feeling very stable i feel like again because of that two of pentacles energy that we were talking about here yeah i was yeah two of pentacles energy that we were talking about here aquarius that um y'all like uh, it's just like very y'all have been living a very chaotic life because there's just been there's not really if you notice there hasn't been like any grounding energy here not too many pentacles you have the page of pentacles but that's new energy so that's not really fully grounded three of pentacles coming in but that was with that person yeah you don't have really grounded grounded energies so um yeah it feels like there hasn't been anything solid for a while where you could really put your roots in that's going to be changing stabilizing here uh in the coming days for sure things are going to start stabilizing and uh going back into a more forward momentum you just needed to have a lot of aspects in your life to be moving around because of the eight of wands like some type of changes and adjustments needed to happen for before things could come into full fruition here so aquarius let's get a moon oracle card before we close out this reading for you here honey <clears throat> someone made a comment in my last week's reading aquarius where they're just like hey how are you able to shuffle these big old oracle cards like because i think i was using like this deck as well and i had to give them some clarity honey it's like honey i got some big old man hands honey i know i had my nail i broke my nail <laughs> uh one a couple of my nails aquarius so i had to cut my nails but i know my uh, long nails sometimes give this implication i have just these petite feminine hands honey but i got big old man hands like there's been a lot of big things that's been in these hands honey <laughs> anyways aquarius what is your moon card what do you need to release here 
waning moon coming in i'm going to give you another one to spoil you guys and full moon in a in taurus your dreams needed a practical plan we already talked about the practical plan aspect right the edits that needed to go down for you aquarius right um what do you need to release here <sighs> you know well why is that there though why what do you what did you need to release connections allowing something so maybe that was dealing with that first thing that we we're tapping into something that you're feeling nostalgic from in the past seeing the karma come into full fruition it gives you that sense of closure so then you can start the next chapter of your life it's almost like some of you guys aquarius needed to because you have such a kind heart or you just because there wasn't really any yeah there wasn't any um super negativity here when with the association of that energy aquarius so it feels as if like the bitterness might have been done with that past situation darling and for now for you aquarius you just needed some closure with a past situation before you could really allow yourself to just continue f going forward right and so yeah i feel like that new past energy is just relevant just to whether you take it back or not just it gives you that closure that you need so you can begin like fully just give yourself permission to start this next phase in your life so that's what i got for you aquarius thank you so much for allowing me to do your tarot reading again darling all right i never take it for granted that you trust me to do your tarot cards remember if you want to book a private reading with me simply velcard dot com links also down uh in my social media next to my social media simply velka on my instagram and tiktok same as here um be careful uh aquarius because there's so many scam accounts or fake accounts of me that are trying to scam people remember i only do readings through my website honey i am not tacky i did not build a website a whole website um with my own hands honey to reach out to you um through messages so i love you so much aquarius hopefully this gave you some clarity and i'll be connecting with you sometime in the near future bye darling